Hello all, it's Chief Tiger again, and if you're in this video, you've probably watched my uh, tutorial on how to download uh, very popular add-ons for Gmod, and if you haven't, then you should go look at it right now. The link to the video is on this annotation right here. Okay, so now that we've got that cleared up, people that have watched the movie before this one, uh, we're going to start with uh, installing the add-ons. So gonna go to that folder that we created on the last video and you should have all the add-ons in by now um some of them will be like folders like Phoenix and Wiremod will both be folders because they were SVN but some will be archives which is what they are when you get them off Gary'sMod.org to open these archives you have to have WinRAR or WinZip whatever you prefer WinRAR is free it's pretty cool I like it but um then you just double click the archive and then this is where you gotta be uh, completely careful because if you do this wrong then the add-on won't work when you put in the add-ons folder um, first when you open it you should search the folders that it has in here this one only has one so this uh, ASS mod is pretty easy so you double click the folder and you want to find the folder that has this in it this info.txt right here this is what defines the folder above it as the folder you put in the add-ons because some folders have like this folder and then you go into it and then there's another folder that says the same thing with a version after it and then you go into that folder and then you get this yeah that's not good you want the folder right before all this stuff which would be this one and I normally extract it to my desktop to make sure it's all correct still and um, I already extracted it so and then it'll come out like this and then when it's on your desktop you double click it and make sure that info is still there and when it is you go into your Gary's Mod directory by computer local disk C or whatever uh, ignore this you just have to go to program files and mine says that because I have 64 bit um, then you go to steam and once you're in here you go into steam apps uh, your username Gary's mod, Gary's mod again, and add-ons. And this is where you have all your add-ons. I have a bunch. Um, then once you're in here, you just take the add-on off your desktop and drag it in here, and it'll be in there. Ta-da! And then once you start Gary's mod, it'll load up how it's supposed to and everything. But I don't use this one because I use Yolex, so just delete that. Also, if you have uh, Gary's Mod already running when you're putting add-ons into the add-ons folder, uh, they won't work. You have to completely close Gary's Mod and then open it again for the add-ons to uh, take effect in your gameplay. But um, now moving on to the uh, folders. Um, the folders should be good. Phoenix 3, I know, will be good when you extract it in here. But the Wire Mod one... It will probably have something along the lines. It'll have like three folders in here, like Advanced Duplicator, Wire, and Wire Model Pack 1 or something like that. Yeah, those each individually are add-ons, not just this folder. Like I said, the ones with info in them, and those all have info in them. So you just will pretend they're right here right now, and you'll highlight them. Then you'll right-click and hit Copy, but I don't have the option because I'm not even highlighting anything really. So you... Highlight, copy, go back to Gary's Mod add-ons, and paste those three folders into your add-ons, and then you'll have wire. And um, you just rinse and repeat for either the archives or the folders, because the only other folders you should have would be ULX and ULib, and then the other archives are the uh, vehicles and PC and builder add-ons. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped you in installing your add-ons, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you, and good night. Thank <laughs> you.